All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, Child Psychology, module number 22. This is going to be our final module on child psychology. Let's, again, once again, my name is Nadeem Sikander, and this will be uh, the next module on child psychology, uh, which would be the final one. Uh, this is about developing um, a child into adulthood. Uh, in this uh, module, we will be looking at the understanding of physical development into adulthood, uh, how cognitive changes develop into adulthood, uh, emotional development into adulthood, and also understanding the behavioral part uh, of development as an, as an adult. Uh, so thus far uh, in this module, as you have, if we've been following me from, the, from module one, we have covered uh, growth and development from the childhood to adolescence. And this final module will examine the transition from, uh, from adolescence into adulthood. Um, the physical development into adulthood, uh, though anyone could argue uh, that the biggest physical changes we go through as human occurs during adolescence, just because a person is an adult does not mean the body does not continue to grow. In fact, the body continues to grow well into our 60s as well as into our 70s, and in some cases, even longer. Physical development into adulthood is divided into three parts, early adulthood, 20 to 35, mid adulthood, 35 to 65, late adulthood is 65, and beyond. Cognitive development into adulthood. This is uh, a lot of debate among psychologists about whether or not there should be a formal cognitive stage for early adulthood. Now, emotional development into adulthood. We mentioned Eric Erickson's theory on emotional development in the module number two of this course. If you remember, um, mentioning Eric Erickson in module two, he believed that emotionally we develop into different stages. And by the time we reach adulthood, we have a need to form intimate relationships. Now studies have uh, shown that uh, those who do not have strong sense of their own identity have relationships that are less satisfactory or they have uh, emotionally isolated, depressed, or lonely and lonely. Depression is the concern for those in the mid-20s, and most people who are diagnosed with major depression are diagnosed during this stage of life, which is from 20 to 30 years of age. Most young adults during this stage, emotional development will create an, uh, an adult relationship with their parents, uh, see their peers less important when it comes to the behavior, feel empathy for others, and they become more, um, more intimate with others. <clears throat> Additionally, these people will establish their own body image and their values. That's when you have the emotional development is moving forward in this stage. Behavioral development into adulthood. When it comes to behavior development, by the time a person transitions, from adolescence to adulthood, their behavior is typically set. Let's look at the ADHD. Um, uh, this is a disorder, um, a condition which is known to impair a person's ability to control their behavior. Now, ADHD is known to be attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Honestly, um, there's a lot to learn about ADHD. Attention deficits mean that a person does not have an attention, but oftentimes you find um, people are interested in something. They, 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 they put a lot more time um, into it, and then that attention issue is not really there. So there's a lot to learn. Males are a two to three times more likely to develop this condition than women, and these conditions can develop in adulthood, though it is more often associated with children. Approximately 70% of the children who have been diagnosed with ADHD will continue to struggle with, the, with this condition once they enter into adulthood. Emotional behavioral disorder. Um, this affects the ability to be happy, control emotions, or to pay attention. 
Symptoms of this condition, which is the emotional behavioral disorder, includes inappropriate actions, emotions for environment, learning difficulties that have no other cause, and disabilities with the personal uh, relationship. Those with emotional behavioral disorder um, are also often unhappy, depressed, and might have feelings of fear and anxiety about school or work. Oppositional defined disorder. This is commonly in uh, a disorder is in children, but there are some adults who will also have this condition as well. These adults are often angry at the world. They regularly lose their temper, defend themselves. Even the, the there is concrete evidence to the contrary. These people are often as if they are any everyone dislikes them and they often feel pushed uh, around the, by friends, families, and, 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 and peers. Anxiety, there are a number of conditions that cause anxiety, uh, including the following, panic disorder, uh, GAD, generalized anxiety disorder, uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and OCD, which is obsessive compulsive disorder. Let's look it, into each one of them. Uh, OCD is characterized by uh, irrational thoughts and fear that leads to disorder obsession. Uh, these then turn in uh, it cause a person to have compulsions. And those who have OCD often engage in repetitive behavior despite the neg negative consequences of the actions. These actions relieve stress temporarily, but they do not solve the underlying issues. I have a colleague of mine who happens to go to the washroom, um, you know, I mean, countless times and spends good amount of time washing his hands and not wanting to touch the do doorknob, not wanting to push the door with his hand. It's too much involved in it. Now, of course, his actions perhaps are helping him temporarily, but there are underlying issues. So if you have those type of uh, symptoms, you feel that you, you, you are OCD, you should look into finding some help. Um, the causes of behavioral disorder, there is number, um, there are a number of known causes of behavioral disorder, and many can be tracked back to biological factors, which include malnutrition, heredity, uh, physical illness, brain damage. These could be some of those um, uh, factors that are, um, you know, causing the behavioral disorder. Like if you have a malnutrition, uh, there's a heredity involved, there could be a physical illness causing it, and there could be, you know, brain have been damaged uh, somewhere, you don't even realize it, that could be the case. Cause of behavioral disorder, there are also causes of behavioral disorder that are related to a person's environment, which is often help, um, often um, their home life, and these include pressure from parents, divorce, unhealthy discipline style, poor attitude towards schooling or work. Hey, folks, this is important. Um, some of the behavioral disorders come from the pressure from parents, you know, often pushing children um, forcefully, um, not thinking through uh, their age and the stage that they are in and expecting them to do something you believe to be the case as a parent or a caregiver, uh, not necessarily finding, not necessarily a good move to do. Uh, parents who go through the divorce process, remember you have children, are going to get affected one way or the other if they're young the younger age gets affected uh, more than those who sort of have an understanding nonetheless uh, the effects are going to be there um, for you know causing the behavioral disorders and um, are, you know unhealthy discipline style some of the parents who have uh, or caregivers have very unhealthy style for example today there's there's a new discipline that has been introduced and day after tomorrow, it's not gonna be there because the parents or caregivers themselves sometimes are not disciplined. So remember in the previous module, we talked about be a good role model. So that's the key. Uh, signs and symptoms of behavioral disorders. Uh, those who have behavioral disorders often act out or 
act, act out or display behaviors that upset others, right? So we remember we, we mentioned in the previous modules that, you know, sometimes children seek attention and the only way they get attention is when they misbehave. So when they misbehave, you can see that they are uh, having you pay attention to them. And sometimes that's how they see it. These signs vary from person to person. However, there are also emotional symptoms of behavioral issues, which includes the following, appearing angry, um, uh, you know, easily getting nervous or annoyed, arguing and throwing temper, temp, tem tantrums, uh, putting blame on other people, refusing to follow the rules, difficulties with handling uh, frustration. So these are some of the symptoms of behavioral disorders. Um, and that could all start from children uh, sometimes seeking attention and, um, and you know, these things continue to move into your adulthood. Physical symptoms of behavioral disorder. There are also physical symptoms of behavioral disorders, which is unusual when it comes to psychological disorders. These physical symptoms include the following headache, rash, or fever. Um, you have um, shaking, bloodshot shot eyes. Uh, burnt fingers, which could probably indicate indication of substance abuse. Uh, the effects of behavior disorder, if not treated, the behavior disorder uh, can have a negative short and long term effects on the person's personal as well as professional life. So we must make sure that we find help. We uh, there's a lot of resources out there um, to get help. I mean, not to, you're not going to get help. Sometimes, you know, I, I personally experienced having some of the clients uh, meeting with some of the uh, therapists or uh, people who do the CBT or cognitive behavior therapy. You know, not every person is suitable for you even. So, but I think the idea is you need to continue to find the right match. Uh, for any of the help that is, but you, you can't do it without not trying it. You have to try it to know what works for you. In conclusion, everybody, this module shows that we never stop growing and developing, even as we age into adulthood. So it never ends. The growth continues. Our bodies, brain, and psyches are all continues to evolve even until we're well into our sixth decade of life. Uh, it is also um, normally, uh, it is also possible for people to grow and develop normally throughout their childhood and then develop new conditions. So it's quite possible that it happens. You, you have a good childhood, but then later on you develop a condition. Uh, don't want to spend too much time on that. I, I told you it could be something um, biological. You, people could have some sort of a brain damage, some sort of a, um, a tumor. Anything can cause, um, you know, the behavioral issues uh, that totally separates your um, your childhood and, and your upbringing, um, especially those who um, associated with the behavior. So finally, um, child psychology, this was the last module, which was the module number 22. As you have learned from this course, our brain um, we uh, development is never ending. We continue to develop. Um, you know, uh, it's highly complex. Um, it's, it's impossible to learn all about child psychology from a single course. Uh, the idea that I have for this course was that giving uh, enough information out about this course that the people can continue to study um, in the in the future. So they have sort of a general idea. It's an overview of child psychology. Um, uh, once again, children are our most prized possession and it's incumbent upon us to ensure their physical, social, emotional and cognitive well-being. Uh, as you know, uh, you know, the, the future relies on, 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 on brain health of our children so they can be um, they can be the, the forerunners. Um, good husband, good parents, good siblings, 
It just, well, we have to provide that help. Once again, my name is Nitin Sikander. My email uh, address is right on the screen. Please, if you find these uh, modules, this course to be somewhat helpful, you enjoyed it, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, my plan to uh, continue to come up with the courses that I have learned. I have uh, in the pipeline to come up with the CBT, Cognitive Behavior Therapy, um, Adult Therapies uh, course, as well as um, I have a couple of other courses, um, such as the Child Counseling uh, and a few others in the pipeline that uh, will be introduced in the future uh, very soon. So thank you all very much for taking the time. Uh, we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of the night.